So the Travax original, this original wallet, actually, it kind of started out being made in my apartment. It was about, you know, two and a half, three years ago. And we used to, uh, to have these things, we'd powder coat them in the bathtub, and then we would assemble them in the, uh, the back of the apartment. And of course, I don't even know how legal that is, but we, uh, we started the company that way. And, um, you know, after a few years and after selling so many of these things, we've really just found out uh, how great of a product it really is. It's simplicity and it's function. It's just, it's useful. And um, you'll find a couple different features on this thing. It's got a bottle opener up here in the front and it's got these finger grips. And originally, the reason for this wallet was actually to be able to carry a plastic grocery bag and some people think that's so strange but it's different and it's kind of cool and it's unique. Um, this uh, little clip right up here in the front, that is for a, a carabiner. So you can take this wallet, you can clip it onto your backpack, you can uh, you know, clip it to your belt loop, you can hook keys to it, uh, anything that you really want to do. And the nice thing about this wallet is actually it's like instantaneously expandable. The way that the uh, the way that the elastic actually wraps around the wallet makes it so that right when you put your cards in, a couple things happen. It instantly adapts to the amount of cards that you have, and then simultaneously it makes it so that your ID card shows right here through the uh, the faceplate. So it's a useful wallet. It's handy, and it's awesome looking. It's very very tactical, very rugged, and just like all of our products, it's got that lifelong guarantee. Uh, you know, the product is warranted against standard use and standard abuse for the life of the uh, person carrying it. So there are a couple different materials that make this wallet pretty unique and unlike any other wallet that you've actually, that you've seen before. So um, the, front, the front plate is made out of 0 0.090 aluminum and it's, it's uh, 6061 aluminum. And on some of our models, it's, uh, it's Cerakoted, and so it's got that very durable coating. And on some of our models, it's anodized. The back plate is cold rolled steel, so it's aluminum and steel. And the back plate, it's, uh, it's actually coated with this stuff, it's called E-coat. It's an electrostatic uh, dipping process. It's kind of like uh, it's kind of like powder coat, except you take the whole thing, you dip it into an electrostatic bath, of this paint and it adheres right to the metal. So it's very, very durable. Um, the, uh, the elastic on this thing is also really top notch. The elastic on this is sourced from the same manufacturer that supplies uh, this, this exact elastic to firefighters. And they use this stuff inside of firefighters' equipment. It's fire resistant, it's very, very durable. It's meant for use and abuse and the Velcro is high cycle Velcro. It's meant to last. The thread is polyester thread. It's meant to last. The seam seal tape is the same kind of seam seal tape that they use on scuba equipment. So it's meant to go in the ocean. It, you know, it's meant to be abused. It's meant to be stretched. It's meant to be used. The grommets on this thing are mil spec. So same exact grommets that you'd get uh, in some military gear. And then Last but not least, this paracord, 550 paracord, made in the USA. It's sourced from a US manufacturer, just like all the components on this wallet. So just a really a quality product that's made out of quality components. Now, just like with all of our products, they have kind of a pretty cool story behind them. And some of the stories that I've heard from some customers just floored me. Uh, one time I heard that uh, this wallet actually made it up to the top of Mount Everest which was awesome. And uh, another time, uh, there was this gentleman, he had this thing in his front pocket and he was nailing away, uh, he was in construction, he was building a house and he dropped his nail gun. It misfired and it stuck into the wallet. And you know, he says, the thing saved my life. I have no idea whether or not that, that, uh, that is 100% true, but if it is, <laughs> that's just crazy. Um, another guy, uh, he fell in his boat and he landed on his hip 
and the wallet just tacoed. It just bent completely. It was 45 degrees. It looked like a banana. And he goes to the hospital. His hip's hurting real bad. The doctor says, well, John, uh, if you hadn't had that wallet in your pocket, then you'd have surely you know, fractured your hip. And so this guy he had this huge bruise on the side of his hip. And he says that the Trayvac saved his hip. You know, there are these kind of cool stories that come up um, from a product like this and pretty neat to hear.